globe. The daughter of a ministering mother is already ordained for good trouble. A seer, a prophetic young student preparing for her lifelong role as servant to her own community. When your purse was snatched in a Farmer Jack parking lot many years ago with your kids' tickets to run DMC in the purse, you made sure they still got to that concert and even hosted Melly Mel and the Furious Five in your living room because queens make it look easy. When you're a single mom, people will tell you what you can't do. Instead, you move to New York City with all four of your seeds to do your necessary work with the YWCA because queens make it look easy. Ghana, Togo, South Africa, where is your heart, Mama Watson? Nurturing spirit, baking melt in your mouth, homemade biscuits. How many hours do you sleep, Warrior Watson, with endless work ethic and blue collar blood racing through your veins? How do we say thank you for your work, your time, your heart? We know you will never really retire. There is a fire on the path to freedom. There is smoke. There is sacrifice. There are stories of justice, of women, of Tubman, Sojourner, of Angela, Asada, Coretta, and Merle, and Betty, and Queen Mother Moore. Some of us know we are ancient, that our marrow is laced with legacy, that we are here to bring light to our daughters. Sometimes it just takes one woman, a mother, a grandmother, a spitfire, griot, a sister, the only woman to lead the NAACP's largest chapter. She, daughter of the movement, of Rosa, of Irma, she was a birth that gave birth to possibility for other young activists like me, a true D woman, frontline Fatima, Nigerian blood, councilwoman, leader, truth teller, Joanne Watson, social worker, president of the anti-clan network, sister, inspiration, dedicated to the protection of girls and the voices of women wrapped in West African beauty, regal and resilient. Wake up, Detroit. Wake up, South Africa. Wake up, Cuba. Wake up, small business owners. Wake up, White House. Wake up, reparations. Wake up, teachers. Wake up, women. Women, wake up schools. Sleeping is not an option when the Honorable Joanne Watson is in the room. Wake up, Detroit. I'm Joanne Watson. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice, hallelujah, and we're glad in it. It's a wonderful day to rise and shine and give God all the praise. God alone is worthy to be praised. Uh, I'm wearing black for a reason. It signifies I'm black to the bone. And I, I want everybody to know it. We thank God for Rodney in the house. He is a, a, a great leader with Operation Hope. And Rodney Benefield is going to talk to us about what we need to know about maintaining Operation Hope and managing our financial business in, in a, a wonderful way. We're so happy that you're here with us on Wake Up Detroit. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be with you. You look Watson. wonderful. Thank you. And I also have on black uh, for, hey, hey, for a specific hey, hey. reason. <laughs> so that works well. All right now. We, we read the memo. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And now you have a, a zest for life, and you also have an understanding about financial uh, affairs. And uh, one of those who's worked very closely with John Hope Bryant, founder of Operation Hope. Talk to us about your work. Yes. I'm grateful to be of a member of Operation Hope. Come on now. And able to help individuals in the community Detroit and nationwide yes. Yes. with financial literacy and financial empowerment because that is just a needed entity that we as our community need to really understand. That's true. We a lot of us did not get the memo Come on, on oh. financial literacy. Oh hello. A lot of us did not under, don't understand the basic concepts mm -hmm. that to survive it's about green. It's about money. It's about managing money. Yes. Manage your finances. Yes. Doing the best that you can do. And we need to stop throwing our money away, don't we? Yes, we do. We stop do. The, just frittering it away on nonsense. Yes, we do. So with our founder, John O'Brien, yes. a magnificent man, a very wise man, has since 1992 Come on, somebody. has been doing financial empowerment, financial literacy programs nationwide. Yeah. We have, he he migrated into the Detroit market years ago, and he has a new initiative with Detroit market called Hope Insights. Yes. With the Hope Inside programs, we started one last year at with Fifth Third. Okay. And Fifth Third Bank's the sponsor of that one, with along with Operation Hope. Uh, have a coach, Crystal Nixon, is on is managing that project okay. and working with them to empower residents and basically to say, okay, you can come inside. You can come inside the facility. We will coach you. Yes. We will provide you workshops. I love it. We will enhance your you. Are, we want you to get your credit right. We want you to get your memory. We want you to have, be able to get. You a know why that's so important? 
Because credit scores are, are a big deal as you move into adulthood. Yes. In order to get a house, in order to maintain credit, to get major assets. That's right. You need that. So, yeah, that's that's correct. And many of our people, we found out that one-third of uh, the folks in Detroit and many other urban communities don't even have a relationship with the bank. Now, it's not the fault of the people. Many of the banks have not been correct in their uh, uh, sensitivity to diversity. Right. That's right. But, but Operation Hope helps our folk establish relationships with financial institutions so they can get an account. That's right. So we want we want individuals to become banked. We want uh, the, you know, there's various percentages why they say people that don't have accounts. That's right. Without a checking account, without a savings account, you're going to payday loans. And you're going to the nature. corner, corner liquor corner store, liquor where, where store. they're charging you 30 cents yes, on the dollar. Yes. You're paying usury rates. Right. And they're making you buy something before they cash a check. That's right. Getting your income tax check back, they're taking a large percent. Keep that. That's your money. Keep that for that's yourself. Right. We that's want right. that to be for yourself. Hey. So Build wealth. That's right. So one thing you talk about the banks, my partner is Level One Bank. Okay. They're a new entity in Detroit market, and they are very positive, and very, the staff and the management of Level One Bank are trying to assure that they will provide services and partner with this partnership of Operation Hope and Hope Inside. Excellent. They want to provide services for residents. So we want people to become banked. We yes. want individuals to improve their credit scores through workshops and coaching. We want to help small businesses expand. We want... A lot of people want to go into business. You got to have good credit. Yes. You want to have a business. So we want to try and help them. We work with youth. We work yes. with financial youth, Excellent. financial empowerment. Excellent. We have, we have a program at, at we have a program at Cody Roots High School. I love it. Sponsored with sponsored by Skillman Corporation, mm -hmm. Skillman Foundation. Mm -hmm. That is our hope inside Cody Roots, and we have a coach there, Eva Tour. She's over there. She is working with that community and okay. parents and schools. Excuse me, parents and and students trying to basically. Show them how to how to how to manage their money. And students in high school or even middle school, they're not too young to open an account. No, they're not. No, they're not. There's a lot of students that work in summer programs. They mm -hmm. work in Detroit Detroit summer programs. They work around the community summer programs. They have jobs at McDonald's. We want to get the word out. Open your account. Yes. Start young. Yeah. Like you said, if you keep your credit right over the long term, it's you're, it's good for your life. That's you right. Know? That's right. Don't go to what you got. We learned. And you can mind your own black business. That's you, exactly. Mind you have have a, a pool of funds. That's right. Where you can start your own business. That's right. You won't need any help from anybody else. Start your because we know what our people need in the community. Right. And so if we provide a service or product that we know will make a lot of sense. Yes. S-E-N-S-E -S -E sense, we can make some C-E-N-T-S sense. <laughs> yes, I love the way that is. <laughs> with, with, our, with our business. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And we need, we need to have more of our dollars circulating. Yes, we want the money to come back to the community. We want you to be empowered. Yes. We want you to have low interest rate in your houses. We do not want you to be able to be paying high interest rates on housing and cars. That's we want right. You to be able to manage your business. That is your money. Let's, let's, let's bring that back. Let's, because I, the and thing. And if you have an asset. Make sure you protect it. Yes. I talked to somebody not long ago who has a house, a very nice house in the center of Detroit that they inherited from their mother, now deceased. Right. And they were telling me they were in trouble with that because they hadn't been paying the taxes. Okay, now, if you got the house for free, how come you haven't been paying the taxes? Wow. Right. See, you got you to prioritize. Yes, that's... that's so if somebody leaves you an asset, don't let the asset fall into... Uh, vulnerability no. by not paying the taxes. No, not at all. If you don't have a house, no, you're not paying rent. I don't even know if you're paying utility, but pay the taxes. Yes. So that your asset is not vulnerable. That yeah. asset can help you with other things. Home ownership is a great uh, a stepping stone toward building wealth. That is right, and that's what we want to impart. We want to impart. We want to teach wealth building. We want you to have some assets, and we want to help you decrease your liabilities. Come on, somebody. And we, we want, you know, we want that net worth to be right. That's right. You know, we want you to go in your bank to qualify. Yeah. We want you to have a credit score that you can say, I can, you can get what I want. I can, you get what you need. We want to help you maintain that. We are here to help individuals that do not have a 700 credit score. Our goal is to get you to a 700 credit score. We call our program 700 Credit Score Community. All right, now. It's a long-term program. We start you off, and we work with you. We empower you. We advocate for you. We coach for you. Come on now. We want. We have, like I said, we are in Detroit. We have three of these up and running the Detroit market right now. Yes. And getting ready to open our fourth. Oh, yes. So we want to have at least 20 of these by 2020. I love it. We have a gentleman who's very advocate, strong, 
um, knowledge base of financial literacy, Mr. Ryan Mack, yes. who's leading a lot of those efforts in the Detroit area to really empower and getting these centers open. And Ryan's really going in forward. He's really doing a great job. Okay. He, he's, he's a national guy on financial literacy. Yeah. He's been on CNN. He's just an advocate for this. So, you know, it's, and he's from Detroit. And that's what makes it so beautiful. So we are here to help empower residents. We want you to take advantage of our program. I want you to contact me, come in. We do workshops. How can I reach you? My office is located in the Tech Town area. Mm -hmm. You may reach me. My name is Rodney Benefield. And that's spelled B as in boy, E N I F I E L D. And my phone number, I can be reached at area code 313 686 6113. I'm sorry, it's 313 686 3113. Okay. So now what about the discipline people uh, need to get in place as we're approaching the holiday season? We, as you know, uh, our uh, community that sometimes uh, overdoes it, we overdo it. Yes. In uh, terms of uh, holiday consumption. Yes. Buying things that uh, are not really building wealth or adding to our assets or to our net worth. And, and some, there are some uh, businesses that they're banking their, uh, their profit for the season. Yes. On our folk misspending. Yes. Buying liquor, buying, uh, uh, going to the casinos, uh, doing other things that uh, the fur coats are not going to add to your asset. No, it's not. Mm -mm. So we try and coach individuals on that. That's one on one coaching. We provide workshops for communities. We like to partner with you, partner with you to provide workshops for your people through churches, through businesses we want to coach these individuals in the community we want to tell them don't don't waste your money on that that's a one-time event don't not be broke come february 1st when you get your statement you don't come have anything now. you don't have anything left to survive for the, the following Buy thousands months. of dollars that's on, not on toys that the children are not going to pay with after 15 minutes right those they're going to look at the box the toy came in that's right we want you to know the reason for the season mm -hmm. and we want you to manage your money Come correctly on we want you to, to just we want to educate individuals that's the thing the lack of education lack of knowledge sometimes leads us to make decisions and trying to keep up with the joneses is, yeah. not, is not what's happening no so at Operation Hope, like I said, we, my partnership with Level One, the partnerships that we're providing in the city, we want to grow this program. Our leader, John Hope Bryant, wants every, he stresses be empowered. He yeah. says if you're around nine broke people, the ten, you're going to be the tenth broke <laughs> one. So let's remember, be around people that are positive. Be around people that's going to really make you grow as an individual. You know, we, we are here with our 700 credit score communities to help people in answer. We're here to, with our coaching and workshops to really empower you and to guide you, to get you in the right direction to manage your finances. Yes. It's so key. It's yes. so key. And like, we want to start young. We Come want on this, now. this I love that. We want this community to go forward as Detroit is rebuilding, coming, you know, the, the renaissance of Detroit. We don't want our people to be left out. No. We want our kids and our families to be part of this mix, to be, to get the memo. To have we, the ought to be, we ought to be operating businesses. Yes, yes, ma'am. So yes, that our dollar goes around and round. Yes, and definitely. And we want to educate you on how to, how to operate businesses. One of my partners is also, along with Level One Bank, is Tech Town and Wayne State. Those are key partners. Tech Town, is, if you know that, has... Very, they have very many a variety of programs that yeah. address small businesses, yeah. and they're just. They're, if you go, if you ever go to that facility, it's amazing. I go to work every day, and I'm just inspired to see all the different, yeah. all the different things, and all the different. And that's 440 just, barrels. Uh, 440 barrels. That's right my, but between uh, Cass and Second. Yes, ma'am. That's my office. Is 440 barrels. All I'm right. at 522. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they we are real. They're really some strong partners. We have to get involved as a community. That's right. We have to know that there is something there for us. This is about positivity and empowerment and to grow yourself. And while you grow yourself, you're growing your community. And really you're reclaiming your roots because the truth is, uh, as I had to tell a young person not long ago who was saying that, well, our people need to be trained. I said, we don't need to be trained. We have owned businesses in Detroit. Right. There's a, in fact, there's a Paradise Valley district downtown right now yes. that I sponsored when I was a municipal legislator. 
uh, where there's a Detroit Seafood Market, Virgil Carr Art Center. Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful park named after Beatrice Buck, one of Mayor Young's best friends. Michigan Chronicle has bought space down there. They're moving down there. So that, that Paradise Valley District, which is, can also be called African Town District, and downtown Detroit, when we have it marked with the reparations, Ray Jenkins' secondary street sign, Harold McKinney's secondary street sign, and a Kwame Atta secondary street sign. That, that marks that district. And it reminds us that we have the right and really the opportunity to have our dollars go round and round. And we ought to be owners and not just consumers. Yes. There's nothing empowered about being just a customer. No, it's not. No, you, it's ought, not. you ought to own something and intentionally go where your people are, are part of the ownership so that you know you're putting some of our people to work. Yes, exactly. That's what it's about. You have to have the jobs. And you have hey, to have work to, to make it work. That's it. That's it. <laughs> to acquire the assets. That's, you that's gotta, right. And you have to manage your money. So that's that's, right. we're here to help you do that. We're that's all, right. It's all part of the good mix. You get a good job. You manage your money. You know, you live comfortable. You teach these You teach these. Uh, principles to your children yes. of growth. You know, we want to empower the residents. We want communities to open up business. We want to work with And we're community. talking on a black owned business. R.J. Watkins owns his business. Yes, yes. His son Sean is operating the, the engineering and the cameras and the sound. Praise God. Yes, uh, H.T. Henry Tyler, his best friend, is a vice president of the Watkins Broadcasting. Yes. And uh, Michelle Cunningham is on the desk, and we, we thank God for Marvin Willis and Maxine Willis and family, extended family and godmother to all the Watkins children. But when you have a family business, yes, it it, it increases the family fortune. Right. It maximizes the family support and ownership, and it makes you feel good to know that uh, God bless the child has got his own. What a powerful statement! Come on, somebody. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. We ought we ought to own something. There are, there is a. The Tim Hortons on Woodward, yes. right in the center of Highland Park, owned by a black woman. I love so I, I go out of my way to go to that one. Yes, right. Because I know that 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 and she hires young people from our community. You know the dollars circulating round and round. We ought to support our own. That's growth. And that's how we, more now than ever, Come we're, we're going to have to stay together. Hey. We're going to have to stick together, and we're going to have to build the wealth together, support each other, support the business, yes. what I'm say. Work together, man yeah. the finance. Come we, on, somebody. We, we can do this. We can. We, we can we're, we're, actually, we're, we're, we, we're doing it. We must Not, do it. We must do this. Because there was this. a time when Paradise Valley uh, was, was the center of operation for Detroit, black Detroit. And it happened because they, we were not welcome in some other parts of the We couldn't okay. stay in white hotels. They wouldn't even let black folks get buried in white cemeteries. Yes. So we operated our own. Right. Uh, we had uh, uh, hotels and restaurants and, and pharmacies and uh, bakeries and uh, printers, printing shops. And all of our dollars were circulating round and round and round. So there was a reason why that uh, urban renewal, which was really Negro removal, happened in places like Detroit, yes. which bulldozed our businesses because they did not want the kind of competition that was being uh, offered. Right, right. So we, we don't uh, have a, uh, a deficit in the history of ownership. We just need to reclaim our ownership rights well, it, and go back, to, go back to business. That's right. Well, Operation Hope, Hope Inside, that's Home it. Bank. I'm here to help. We're here to help. We're here to... To help people reclaim that, that's a we. This is this is a holistic process. We're just we talk about building wealth and wealth empowerment. We we want you to have dignity. Yes. We believe in financial yes. dignity. Yes. Yes. That is, we want everybody to be. I'm proud have ownership to say I'm doing this for me. I'm going for it. Say that. We want you to be empowered and have financial dignity. That's the key to our program. We go back to the roots of Martin Luther King. Jobs come and go. Yes, they do. And many people who are working right now who think they're going to be set for life, uh, you may be downsized. That's correct. You, you need something on the side. You yes. need some fund that's making money without your uh, engaging in manual labor. That's correct. That's correct. And there's a lot of people, we have these skills that we have to, you can't go back at home and just say, I can do this, I want to do this. Do it. Let's let's get the memo. Let's go for it. Let's do this. That's right. Let's let's move forward. Let's get be a part of this growing effort in Detroit and That's the right. program. That's right. This is made for us too. Operation this, Hope. Oper let's have hope. Let's have Operation hope. Operation Hope. Come That's on, right. somebody. That's right. Operation Hope. The faith, hope, love, the greatest of these is love. That's from scripture, Corinthians. I still don't. <laughs> Come on, somebody. All right. Well, one of the things that we are so grateful uh, for is that a person with your 
a level of enthusiasm and zeal yes. and commitment yes. as a part of Operation Hope. We, we just like your spirit. Thank you. Like your commitment to our Thank people you. and the fact that you love your job. Yes, it I do. It shows. Well, I appreciate Come that. Come on, somebody. And most of, I would say my, my from my boss, on um, Ms. Dion in, in Baltimore, from just all the, the leadership and Operation Hope, we have that. It's resounding. Come on, somebody. You see that. Come on you now. You know, we, we believe in hope. Hey. We believe in pushing forward. I love it. We believe in empowering our residents, love our community. Because yeah. we want, we know our community is going to grow. Yes. And we're going to be part of it. Hey. We're part of Come it. Come on, somebody. Our partners, we have great partners in this work. They they are very supportive. We believe in entrepreneurship. We believe in just just having, like I said, the financial dignity to go forward. And you have relationships with Fifth Third Bank. You yeah. have relationships with Level One. Yes. With Tech Town. Tech, yes. With institutions, with with the academic community. Yes. Uh, that helps to provide a foundation. Yes. For those persons who need Operation Hope. Yes. As a, as a launching pad. Yes. Uh, for their financial fitness. That's right. So we just think that's it's excellent because you come with a reservoir of resources that's right they can help people right now that's correct somebody needs to open their own business right now yes someone needs to get out of their financial challenge right now that's right Raise that somebody needs to open a bank account has been cashing a check at the corner liquor store help me somebody yes right, right now. now that's right as we speak somebody's probably doing that yes uh -huh. we can help yeah. you yes yeah. And this is a this is the season to do it and some some of us need to get more discipline before Thanksgiving and Christmas comes, help me now. Yes. And we throw all of our money away on nonsense. Right. With people who don't respect us. Right. Who are not going to be giving anything back, who won't hire you. Right. Who won't invest in your community or you. Right. And who are plotting and planning on your, on your misspending the few dollars you have. That's right. That's right. We need some discipline. We need some discipline. Discipline. I like that. So we'll help you get that budget. We'll, yes. We want to work with you. We, yes. we are here to advocate for you. We're to coach for you. For, and all these services, and I might not have said this, this is free. Come on now. This is free. There's no, for credit repair, there's no charge. Why are we going to charge somebody that's trying to do better for themselves? My Lord. That is not our principle. Our principle is to empower, to help for free. We have certified financial coaches and resources and for free to empower and help you that's we're, we're here to help and that 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 is our model what i'd like to do and this is uh, in november i'd like to have uh, some people in detroit call his number he's going to give his number again uh and then get connected to operation hope then we want to have uh, rodney in a few months Bring us some victory stories, yes. some success stories. That's exactly what you want to do. Some celebrations and bring yes. you back on the air yes. to talk about how you have recovered from uh, lack of discipline financially, how you have recovered from not having any credit to being credit worthy. That's right. How you have recovered from throwing all your money away. That's right. To, to starting the plaque toward building wealth. That's right. How you have recovered and restored and renewed. Right and move, become a part of Operation Hope. So I make that commitment to you. Well, I appreciate that. We're going to work that plan with all them. Right. We're all gonna right. Pull your, we'll pull your credit report for free. I love we'll it. work with you. We're going to empower you. You're gonna, we'll coach you through the process and try Amen. to get your credit score up So and to manage your money. And build, just build your dignity. Build that financial dignity. That's right. You know? So as again, you can reach me. Again, my number is area code 313-686. 3113. I'm located at 440 Borough Street, building, I mean, excuse me, number 522, office 522, and that's in Tech Town. So feel free to call me, stop by, and I'm willing to help you. Let's move forward. If there's entities, pastors, yes. communities that want me to come out and do financial praise workshops. God, praise God. I would do that. Just contact me. I'm here to help your congregation, your members. He's going to give the number one more time. And that, again, my number is Eric 313-686-3113. Please give me a call, and I'm here to help you. And I really appreciate you, Ms. Watson, to have me on this show to share the work that we're doing, the Hope Inside project we're doing with Operation Hope, yes. Level One Bank, and and all around the community of Detroit, and like you say, I, I hope that someone will call me so I'll be able to have some. We will be able to have some testimonies up yes. the next yes. time I come up. We come want on, somebody. we 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 want to see.
positive results. That's and right. Activity. It's coming. That's right. It's that's, coming. that's right. That's right. People without a vision soon perish. And, and we have a vision. That's right. For financial accountability, financial success, ownership. That's correct. It should be in our future. That's right. Praise God for Thank Rodney you. Benefield. Thank you. Operation Hope. Yes. Wake up, Detroit. <laughs> Wake up, Detroit. All right. All right.